This segment will be on understanding histograms. First of all, what is a histogram? The histogram is a graph of your shadows to highlights. Basically, this graph is showing you the volume of dark pixels to medium tones all the way to your lightest pixels. Pure black is going to have a value of 0, and pure white will have a value of 255. Understanding the histogram can help you understand if you have a good exposure. I always like to see a little bit of white and a little bit of black in each photo, but let's take a look at the histogram and where we can find it in our camera. When viewing your image on the back of the camera, you can press the, the info or display, or display or something similar like that to be able to view your histogram. You can also hit it again to toggle out of that view. Let's see if we can make it more sense looking at this black and white photo. We're going to zoom in really far until we just get pixels. And once we have those pixels up, you can see we have different shades of dark to light. And as if I hover over each one of those pixels, you can see in the information tab what that value is. And that's going to be a value from 0 to 255, again, from black to white. So if I take the first pixel here, and that has a value of 77, and I take all the pixels that have a value of 77, which there are three in this particular photo, I'm going to put that on a line graph. We'll go back and take the next pixel grab those and put those on the line graph on their value. So you can see that it's really like a line graph that has values from darks to lights. And on the left side, it's the quantity of how many there are. So the number of pixels that we have in that particular value are graphed on that chart. And that's what creates our histogram. So what can we learn from that? While well, taking a look at this photo, it's a dark photo to begin with because it's taken at night. So you'll see a lot of the pixels are kind of clustered over to the left. When you see the hump of the histogram clustered over to the left, generally it will mean that you have an underexposed image. However, in this case, it's a night photo, and that's okay. So understanding what you have in front of you and understanding the histogram can help you understand what kind of exposure you have. Here's another extreme where we have so many white things in the image. We have a bride with a white dress taken against a chapel that has a lot of white values. So we're seeing that the histogram is clumped over to the right. Typically when you see this, you're going to have an overexposed image, in other words, an image that's too bright. But in this case, it's okay because we happen to have a lot of white values. Generally your histogram is going to be clustered up into a hump into the middle, sort of like this one. And this is a properly exposed image. We don't have any pure blacks and we don't have any pure whites and we have a good exposure. In this image here, in real life, there aren't a lot of whites, but yet our histogram is clustered over to the right, depicting that we have a lot of whites. So this is an overexposed image and easy to tell from your histogram. Here's the same image properly exposed. You do have a big spike of white on the right side where the sky is too white, which is pretty much unavoidable because of the high contrast scene. Mostly what you want to know is understanding your histogram so that you can understand better whether you have a proper exposure. Because when you're outdoors, you may not be able to see your LCD screen as well as you would like to. So viewing your histogram can give you good information on how well your image is exposed. Hopefully that helps you understand histograms much better.